Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here. Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is not a uh, Bible study, but uh, remember when uh, Obama had the cash for clunkers uh, car thing, you know? Oh, yeah, get rid of your old car and we'll give you some money and you can buy a new car. You know, we're going to help stimulate the economy. Um, I thought about this for a while and uh, I realized why they did that. Well, uh, there was a some people that uh, were behind on their car payments to the bank. So one day they're driving and all of a sudden their car stops, you know, and you're talking a fairly new car. Next thing you know, a tow truck pulls up and, uh, you know, they didn't call the tow truck. The bank did. They are repossessing the car. One time this happened on the interstate. So how is it that the bank was able to turn the car off when they're driving it? You know, wouldn't it be easier to just, you know, do that at home or I don't know. But um, the point is the bank was able to have whoever had control of it to turn the car off. Hey, quit working. So how are they doing that? Uh, well, all the cars have got computers now. I suspect it's from the uh, satellite radio receiver, well, antenna or whatever. That's what I suspect. I'm, I, I'll be honest, I, I don't know. But that's what I would do. You know, and all these cars that got Bluetooth and, you know, uh, a lot of these cars you can... Uh, Take your phone and match it to the uh, the car radio or whatever, and you can talk. So you got hands on um, speaker phones and talking. You know, I'm not exactly sure how they're doing this, but uh, you know, that's what they're doing. And this happened a number of times. So they don't want really want people to know that um, they're able to shut the cars off. Now, all the old cars, they couldn't do this to, especially the 60s uh, cars. I had an old uh, 74 Volkswagen. I used to do the tune-ups myself. Uh, not, I'm not mechanically inclined at all by any means. It's just that one time I took it to the dealer, paid for a tune-up, and it was running worse than when I took it in. Uh, you you know, so after that, I said, well, I'm going to learn how to do this myself. So, um, but yeah, we had points, plugs, a cond uh, condenser, they called it. You couldn't hack that because there was no computer, you know, no computer. Well, all the new cars have got computers, you know, send out a, a phone signal, the computer to shut down or whatever, Bluetooth or uh whatever the sat radio or wherever the signal comes from and your car shuts down you know you got a brand new car and it shuts down so uh you know that's why i suspect why they really got rid of the old cars the old cash for clunkers under obama they wanted to get those old cars off the road so that when they decide to pull the plug uh, gee, honey, the, the car's not working. I, I can't figure it out. It's brand new, you know? And the neighbor's cars aren't working either. Nobody's cars are working. And they could probably say, oh, it was an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. And they'll probably, probably blame it on Iran. Use that as an excuse to, for a war, another useless war. Uh, but, you know, that's just my guess. So, if you got an old clunker that doesn't have a computer in it, you're blessed. So, um, yeah, might be a good thing to, you know, think about. 
All righty. Uh, I just thought I would throw that out there, you know. And because, uh, uh, you know, sometimes it scares me when I think like these devils. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> really, though, it's... Uh, I honestly wonder if the Lord's showing me this stuff so that I could share it with his remnant. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just... Uh, think like the devils i don't know all right anyways all glory to jesus in his precious name amen